Hi, it's Mark from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here with DJ Gary Waite in Vancouver. He's the owner and operator of DJ Boogie Shoes. It's one of the premier uh, DJ, wedding DJ companies in Vancouver. How are you doing today, Gary? I'm doing very well. How's yourself? Good. Really good. Uh, so we're going to talk about the organization, or I guess maybe some tips about how you can organize your music for sort of the flow of a wedding ceremony. Yeah, uh, you know, just like the reception, there is a uh, organization to it, and, and of course, the the more organized you are, the the smoother you're going to have an event, and uh, your wedding ceremony is an important part of your res uh, of your event. And uh, one of the things you want to think about is your location of your wedding ceremony. Sometimes it's within the same hall as the uh, reception, uh, which can make things a little bit cheaper for you because only one PA setup is usually necessary. If you are going to another location, then the DJ may have to set up a, a smaller PA system and of course that adds to the expense and, and travel. And then you also have to find out at the location if you have power for the PA system. And if you're having a larger group, do you want lapel mics or some mics so they can hear your vows, your wedding vows. So once you kind of have that organized and have an idea of what you're going to do with that, you want to talk about the flow of the ceremony and how it goes. And, and the ceremony basically starts off with um, uh, you know your guests coming in and seated about 15 minutes before. So you'll want some kind of music to play while they're seeing some calming music uh, is always very good for that. Whether that, what style you like, it can be discussed with your DJ. And, uh, and then the grooms, uh, just before the ceremony, are brought up to the podium, to the front of the, of the, of the ceremony of the event. Uh, with the justice of the peace or, or the pastor if that's going to be the case and then they get ready for the processional uh, of the bridesmaids uh, and that's usually done to a, a, to a music and uh, that music can be the same or different than the processional for the brides and uh, uh, brides and bridesmaids they can kind of agree on what kind of music they would like uh, for that and um, that's basically the big one for the processional coming in and then you know you have the ceremony where the justice of the peace marries you and and you say your vows and everything and then right after that a lot of brides and grooms forget about the signing the registry and music that you need for the uh, signing the registry. There's kind of a pause there where you're going over to the table and you're you know you're signing the license and and your best man and and lady are, are signing the license with you and so you want some music for that and lots of times one song is not enough so you might want to pick two songs just in case the one song is not enough and you'll have another song to flow into that can be just uh, faded out when you get back to the podium uh, to announce uh, the official of your Mr. and Mrs. Marriage and then when they announce that normally the um, the Justice of the Peace or, the, or the, the, the person doing the ceremony has a few little announcements to make and then we have the recessional where they pronounce you man and wife and off you go with your bridesmaids and yourself and it's usually up-tempo music that they like to have and they send you off and out into the crowd and um, for you, that's pretty much the end of it because you're going off to get your pictures taken as a bride and groom. But then you have to think about the guest departure music. So the guests are going to be sitting there, so they're going to want to mingle a little bit. So you have to decide how long do you want the music to, to last while they're there. Uh, normally it's one or two songs, but some, some brides and grooms want it a little bit longer. Uh, so you kind of decide what kind of music that you want for that, what kind of uh, ambience you want to portray for that. And um, basically it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a smaller event organization but that's basically how it goes through and of course when we do our uh, checklist for the uh, ceremony uh, we go through all of that including helping you with the music and putting it in place for as you need it. Awesome so that kind of makes it pretty easy and I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware of that you know that's nine items that's a lot of detail that um, you help them basically make sure that the wedding goes smooth and easy and is entertaining for everybody. No no kind of holes. No, basically we want to keep it flowing and we want to keep it, uh, you know, with no dead air space, uh, but we want to be respectful of the, of the ceremony as well. Uh, so we want to organize and flowing and within the, uh, uh, the type of music that Brian Groom would like for uh, to reflect their event, yes. Great. So we've been talking with uh, Gary Waite, he's the owner-operator of DJ Boogie Shoes. You can reach him at djboogieshoes.com or 
you can email him at Gary at DJBoogieShoes.com or give him a call, 604-816-7727. Thanks, Gary. Thanks a lot, Al.